Hey guys, welcome to MU Beauties. I'm Jamie, and as you saw in the title, we'll be talking about Beatrice Gomez, uh, her performance uh, from top 16 to top 5 in the just concluded Miss Universe 2021 competition. Now, Beatrice, I'm very proud of her and I'm very happy that she was able to bring the Philippines back to a place of dominance because for some time uh, it seemed as though that was going away. So, thank you so much, <laughs> uh, Beatrice. And uh, when she made the top 16, of course, that was no surprise to anyone because she did very well in prelims and she was expected in the top 16. Her conversation with Steve Harvey, I really loved it. She was very simple um, yet effective and from there I could tell she was a great speaker. So of course we knew that. Um, well, Filipinos always come very well when it comes to speaking. So very good by her. Um, in uh, that conversation with Steve. And I think she was talking about her tattoo that she got to celebrate um, her womanhood. Uh, womanhood. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I really, I really like the person that she is. And then Kim Simpson, of course, I keep talking about her, that she's sexy right and her legs and how nice it is and i remember um talking about her um reminding me of uh janine tagonan with how she walks and it's so expressive on stage and it's really nice and i love the ninja look that she came from prelims and because of the the, the, the hairstyle that she had in prelims i keep looking at her and i'm like she's a ninja and she's badass and that's just how i see um beatrice um she came through to the um top 10 of course by her hard work because she did very well in swimsuit and um seeing her speaking here i kind of wish she had worn something blue and when you think about it the philippines uh, the colors of the flag i think red blue white and i think it's gold i think currently if i'm wrong uh if you look back you'd notice that the dresses that filipino um representatives have worn are of the colors of the flag and uh yeah but i think blue would have looked really rich on her uh maybe a few words but moment you know but she came out in this uh looking like this gold goddess like this trophy uh she looked so dazzling the detailing in this gown it's so well done it's very detailed and I it, it fits her so much. It fits her. I love the cut out. I just would have liked some more length on the dress for her. I think it would have looked so much more glorious. And more on the sleeve also. I think I would have liked her posing with the sleeve. But it worked. Everything worked and I'm satisfied and I love what she did. And of course, with how well she did, she made it to the top five. Again, by her hard work. And when um, it came into the top five, um, her question, it came from Iris. And I just love the bond that she had with Colombia, her holding hands um, with Colombia and uh, it, it was so nice. I love the bond that they had there. I would think they're besties, they're best friends. Um, and then came the moment for the question, the top five question and answer round. And her question, it came from Iris. Uh, <laughs> Iris looks beautiful, she looks very nice. Why is she holding the mic? <laughs> and Steve is standing there like, why is she holding the mic? But her question is, given the ever-changing COVID situation, what is your opinion on mandating a universal vaccine passport? And this is what she had to say. Given the ever-changing COVID situation, what is your opinion of mandating a universal vaccine passport? Bokerto, is there? Uh, 
That was a good answer. She said everything that she wanted to say. It was very simple but direct to the point. And I, I love answers like those that are to the point. It tells you exactly what she thinks. And I love that she was brave to go to the, the stance of where she, where she went, where she said that, well, yes, she would agree with mandatory vaccine, um, well, vaccine passports um, to travel because if that would help with the um, increase in inoculation of COVID, um, vaccines and by that increase the um, well decrease um, COVID cases so I let that she was brave enough to go um, that route the issue here was the delivery because she stuttered somewhat I think when girls are answering their questions if there is um, a uh, when you have one mess up or you make a mistake, it tends to throw you off and your whole um, delivery. And that's what happened here. She wasn't able to really recover. So the, the delivery, it was um, not in one piece. It wasn't ready to get it. It was a bit jagged. So that's what really pulled her down because I think her first two rounds coming in really solid. I think this is where she... Um, wasn't able uh, really to pull herself through to the top three but I'm still proud of her I'm very happy that she was able to bring Philippines to the top three because I uh, I think this is the beginning of something it's kind of giving me a little Venus Ra moment so I think it's the beginning of something new for the Philippines and I'm really looking forward to it thank you so much Beatrice and uh, comment down below let me know what you think about her performance and also ensure that you click that subscribe button so you can be a subscriber here and click on that bell um, to notify to be notified when a new video is posted so you can see more of me and thanks for watching that's all peace out